farmers and agricultural related industries that work on cultivable areas of very large size have a few years ago started to use a new type of technology related tool to help them survey and manage their crops. The problem to solve here is when I have thousands of acres of say corn how can I quickly and regularly check those crops for visible health related problems like lack of minerals or dehydration or other diseases that could significantly reduce my production to try to answer to this need, the market for autonomous surveillance drone for the agricultural market was born. My main task has been to develop a vision module that would allow a drone set on a particular path to diagnose the health issue crops on the ground in real time. Many of the diseases and negative effects will alter a plant's appearance and a flying drone with the capacity to do autonomous regular surveys of the current production could be vital in the strategy of a producer and while being as little time consuming as possible could provide quick insight on which areas to intervene while estimating which are the most urgent ones because the end product must diagnose the crops at ground level autonomously the software must work in real time. This sets another challenge as the diagnosis must be done quickly while as accurate as possible. Depending on various parameters like the time of the day or type of terrain, luminosity, race or species of crops, sensibility settings can be altered. The module has been developed specifically for corn crops. In this plant, the discoloration is quick in case of a health problem. It also works for other types of crops that have the same problem. Depending on terrain, a setting for rudely detecting vegetation elements from non-vegetation ones like paths or rivers has been implemented. It differentiates vegetation areas from non-vegetation ones as you can see on the bottom left. So the result can exclude roads, rivers and other irrelevant elements as you can see on the bottom right. This allows the user to avoid including irrelevant areas in the data when in manual mode and to choose the optimal setting for the terrain when the device is autonomous. Finally, in case the user wants to take control of its drone in direct flight, the real-time factor remains important at higher resolutions for autonomous as well as for manual uses. As you can see, the program can run with an almost 24 images per second at a resolution of 720p. A drone with the ability to follow a perceived path and geolocalize itself should later use this vision module to generate reports for its user. 